Hi, my name is Savannah Horton, and I'm a natural resource specialist with Texas Parks and Wildlife. Today I'm out near Todd's Dump, which is the site of a shallow oyster reef in Galveston Bay, and I'm going to share with you one of the ways that we promote the restoration of oyster reefs in the bay. Oyster reefs are dense colonial communities of oysters that occur throughout the bay, and these reefs are crucially important to the economy and the ecology of the bay and its surrounding communities for several reasons. They provide crucial habitat, refuge, and food to a variety of marine species, many of which are important to commercial and recreational harvest in this area. And oysters themselves are a popular dish that have been supporting coastal jobs through harvest for a very long time. Not only do they protect coastal jobs and Galveston Bay marine life, but they also protect our shorelines by buffering against storm surge from hurricanes. And they promote the health of the bay because they are capable of filtering gallons of water per day through their shells, which helps improve the water quality and the clarity of the bay. Oysters face a variety of environmental pressures in the bay, including things like hurricanes depositing sediment on top of the reefs or creating flood conditions in the bay, but also things like drought, which can also change the salinity, and this reduces the oyster's natural ability to defend itself against predators and also disease. And these environmental pressures, coupled with over-harvesting, have caused the number of reefs in Galveston Bay to decline to a fraction of what they used to be. However, many people care about oysters in the bay because they are so biologically and economically important to us. And so there's a lot of people working to protect and restore oyster reefs in the bay. Oysters' vulnerability and decline prompted the development of House Bill 51. And this bill aims to alleviate some of the pressures on the oysters in Galveston Bay by commercial oyster boats. One requirement that's outlined in the bill is that certified oyster dealers must return 30% of their annually harvested oyster shell back into the bay. They can also buy colch material to be placed into the bay and this can be made up of things like limestone, other rocks, or crushed concrete. The placement of this hard substrate facilitates the restoration of oyster reefs by providing larval oysters with the hard surfaces that they need to attach to in order to grow into adults that can become productive and healthy reefs. For this upcoming colch plant, shellfish dealers have purchased 10,000 to 11,000 cubic yards of limestone rock to place out onto the bay bottom, and that'll cover around 12 to 14 acres. They coordinated with TPWD to place the material at Todd's Dump, which was the site of a healthy and productive reef, but that has since been degraded due to the variety of environmental pressures it's been facing in Galveston Bay. TPWD's role is to help monitor the placement of the material at the reef site. And we do this by placing buoys out so the oyster boats know where to place the material within those markers. And then as they're either shoveling it out into the bay or using water cannons to spray it off of the boats, we will be counting the loads as they come off to see how much material is being placed out there. The placement of such a large load of colch material into the bay could take a few days or even up to a week. But once all the material is out there, we're going to scan the area and make sure nothing will impede navigation. But then we will place the area off limits to harvesting for a few years to give the oysters a chance to attach and grow into a healthy and productive reef. With the hope that at the end of these efforts, we will once again see a healthy and productive reef out at Todd's Dump. Thank you for joining me today and getting a glimpse into one of the ways that TPWD strives to protect and restore Galveston Bay's valuable resources.